welcome back to the Pokemon Collection and another episode of Anime Collection. I have been wanting to open this for quite some time now. Um, I've actually received this awesome uh, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex limited edition series collection on Blu-ray. Um, thank you to Madman for that. Um, it's a nine disc set. It's huge and uh, I've actually not opened it at all so I don't know what's going to be inside it um, but yeah I'm going to open it up anyway and, and, and hopefully it'll be something really cool obviously the disc as well the series and I haven't actually seen it all yet so I'm actually looking forward to just binge watching this at some point among, you know amongst my other anime that I've got um, I've got so much to watch as well I don't know where, where to start um, but let me know as well if you, if you guys are watching anything at the moment because I'll begin to know I'm I've been wanting to get back into anime for quite a bit uh, I used to watch it obsessively but it's kind of dropped off the radar at the moment but I really really hope I'm gonna be watching some more all right so let's open this up so it's um ghost in the shell standalone um, limited edition so standalone complex limited edition series collection I'll give you guys a look at the box so it's hosted in this really funky greeny box um, which looks like that on the side and the back as well so oh it's actually I haven't actually looked at the back yet um, it actually tells you what's in there so it's the definitive Ghost in the Shell series with limited edition special packaging, a 120 page book, three art cards and some special features as well. So it got it has cast and crew interviews, the making of the ta ta uh, sorry Takikoma robot, anime and car design, English production interview, Yuki Komatic days, trailers and TV spots. And it's got this really cool embellishment here, um, which is kind of embossed. Um, so yeah, that's that's there. There. So I'm guessing this here. This there's two little segments here. This box here contains probably the nine discs, considering it's the biggest, biggest bit there. And then we've got the access book and art card. So it's kind of not difficult to to deduce that. Um, in case anybody wants to know, this is the stats of it. I do get quite a few comments about um, how long it is, whether it comes with the English and Japanese dub. So it does uh, have English in 5.1 and Japanese as well. Uh, has subtitles only in English and it's wow, 1400 minutes long, it's insane and it's 16 by 9 that's Blu-ray as well so you'd expect it to be pretty cool so let's open it up and check what's inside Ooh. okay, handling this with care because I, I do like my limited edition anime sets okay, so that's the embellishment there the logo even um, that's how it looks like it opens like a book as well, so we'll open it up. Oh, nice. So got some awesome artwork there. I really need to watch this properly. I've only watched a bit of it. And so I don't actually remember all the character names, but... Okay, so there's the discs. Whoa, this this is a huge... I need... I need uh... Oh gosh, one's fallen out. Better put that back in. Okay, so... There we go, so that's discs 1 to 9, um, they are in this sort of slipcase type thing where the discs sort of go down this way, like that, so be careful when you, uh, you know, if you get the hold of this, it has to be pressed down and then it slots back in, um, and they can fall out, so you have to, you have to make sure they're put in properly, so the same is the case for all the other discs, so I'm going to make sure they're all in there properly, but it sort of, it goes from a blue to purple to red, to brown to green in the end so hopefully that gives you guys a nice little look there maybe I should just do that there we go cool you can sort of see quite a few of the colors there um, okay so I'm really excited about the art book because I love I love seeing the art and everything there's a bit there it's pretty awesome well, I love that I love how it feels okay so pop that there so we have three art cards so that is what it looks like that's actually quite nice I'd like to get these framed or something this looks so cool actually, uh, I suppose, I've actually thought they would put probably more in there but they've, they've only got three normally they put quite a few more but I think it's because they've got the art book um, which probably takes up the cake of the main chunk of the cost here, apart from the obviously the the disc. But this book is quite, quite, <laughs> you know, this is thick. That's pretty cool. Um, it just says access there. Um, 
Okay, so let's. I'm not going to show you every single page, but I'll, I'll give you guys a quick look into what's there. So there's uh, content. So we've got Cyberpunk, Masamune Shiro, production, Ghost in the Shell timelines, uh, season one, season two, Cyber Evolution, character profiles, interview with the director Kenji Kamiyama, and the production team as well. So that's pretty cool. And production sketches as well, which I like because. You see where they come from. Well, how they. I, I really like seeing the development of art. If you guys have seen any Studio Ghibli uh, or Ghibli um, books that I've shown you guys before or in person, it's really cool where they go from concept art to the final version, which is really, really cool. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, so we've got um, the timelines here as well. Oh, that's cool. In case people don't want to. People kind of want to know where they are uh, I want to where's the where's the production sketches I don't want to open it fully because I feel like it'll just fall apart but it won't but I just don't want to damage the book sad isn't it um, well there's so much details in here as well so there's for example this is the script writer uh, Yoshiki Sakurai um, that kind of tells you about their filmography which is quite nice oh here we go so here's some nice sketch Sketches or not sketches, just the final art. How cool! That is awesome. So um, this just came out uh, this month, um, and it's available for a limited time, obviously, because it's limited edition. Oh, look at these! Look, these, these, these are production sketches. Okay, that's awesome. I love how they just kind of go into detail about how it should look. You never think that this detail exists, but it does, and most people probably don't even pay attention to it, which is crazy. But I love it. That's awesome, um, but yeah, you can. Um, it's it just got released this month, and um, it's obviously only around for a while. But if you guys are a huge fan of Ghost in the Shell uh, or just any anime like spy anime, I definitely recommend it. Um, obviously, the new, the live action movie was based off of this. Uh, I haven't actually seen that yet, so I want to probably watch this and then watch that and see if it did it justice. But I didn't really hear good things about it about that anyway but um, it'd be good to hear your thoughts on on Ghost in the Shell if you've watched it if you, if you are a fan or what other uh, anime you're currently watching it'd be good to know um, also you can get in touch with me via discord if you guys want to join my discord you can find that link in the YouTube description below um, I, there's different sections uh, dedicated to different areas so you can talk about anime and under the anime collection or Pokemon Pokemon collection all that stuff if you want to get in touch and I do reply I'm always looking at the notifications and I try to respond to a lot of you and it's kind of a nice little community we've got going on already so um, join me there on discord if you haven't already of course social media too and subscribe if you would like it would be nice to see you, your friendly faces and comments and Usernames come up on my YouTube videos. Uh, be really cool. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll come back with some more anime collection. Um, hopefully, some reviews as well of the actual anime. I haven't actually watched this fully, so I can't review. It. I don't want to review it without watching it properly. Um, but I'll, I'll try and get some more out there. But for now, I thought I'd just unbox the limited stuff, which is really really cool. Um, actually, while you're here, I thought I'd let you know what else I've just received before I go. Um, this month also we got Guild Collection Five of Fairy Tale, and Fairy Tale's coming to an end. I heard. And this one I'm really excited to watch because it's co it's music related um, and it looks really interesting. It's classic, classic. Oh, sorry, classical, classically. I don't know classically. I don't know something like that. Um, I need to really watch that. Oh, classicaloids, classicaloid. Right. Okay. There we go. Uh, interesting. 25 episodes, so I should check that out. And also, Blue Exorcist, I'm a huge fan of. I, I dropped off watching this, but the Kyoto Saga got num uh, number two got released as well, so I'm actually really, really excited to, to watch this. So, exciting times. Um, yeah, let me, let me know what you guys are watching, and I will see you guys very soon. Um, bye. <laughs>